All right, guys, he's in here. Welcome back to the channel for another Street Fighter Duel video. It's going to be a weird day of videos because, like, I can't really put out guides. Um, I mean, I can put out a guide for this Shredder trial, but I can't really put out a guide for anything else. So what I've done is I have compiled a playlist because all of the solutions, all of the puzzles, all of the walkthroughs are exactly the same from the first time. So I've put a playlist together with all of that stuff, all of these trials for Donatello, Raphael, etc. And for Crossover and the Homecoming event. I'll link that in the pinned comment, but you can also see it on my community tab as well. But the one trial that we can do today is going to be Shredder. I am not going to <coughs> review the unit because I've got them. I did get them. I needed to get them because like too many people were asking what's he going to be like. Um, so I have got him and I'm going to do some real world testing with him and we can see what he's actually going to be like when it comes to um, trials and stuff like that, okay? So I'm actually going to skip this first fight because I'm going to be completely honest with you. I completely balls this first fight up. Um, in fact, do you know what? See, just for like, I don't know, for educational purposes, I'll let you see what happened here. Um, didn't die or anything like that, you know, there was no dying in, in this event at all. It's just probably should have switched to manual because you can see here that even though Shredder does hit very hard, it wasn't enough to kind of undo the healing that you get from Honda. So, I mean, he's not like infallible or anything like that, but again, <laughs> you need to wait and see on actual stuff because there's a lot of stuff being said about how he hits harder than V Vega, which we'll put to the test, but there's things that need to be said about that, right? Because it's all well and good saying he hits harder than V Vega, but that's not the full picture, right? It's not, and I'll get into that when we come to talk about the actual unit himself. Um, just simply hitting harder than a unit doesn't necessarily make you better than that unit. I'm not saying Shredder's not better, I'm not saying he is better, but it's it's a bit of a weird one to, to use as the benchmark, mainly because, may as well say it, if you factor in that V Vega has ignored damage immunity, or whatever, that kind of like is a huge deal, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a huge deal. So I think this weird comparison that people are making between Treader and Vega and saying that his C3 can hit harder than Vega's C Super and C3 combined. Yeah, okay, but it doesn't really help much if you're fighting against units like your standard Bisons, your Sagats, your Gokens and stuff like that, because hitting that hard, you're just going to make them proc their passive a lot faster, whereas someone like v Vega is not going to proc their passive because he's just going to kill them. So that's how I don't necessarily think that it makes all the sense in the world to, to simply compare the two of them because again, they have this element to the kit that does make them a little bit different. So instead, I'll actually take the unit out now that I've got them, six cars, got his fighting spirit all done and we'll actually see how he does in, um, hopefully if it's unlocked, I'm probably going to use Path of Fire. The reason I'm going to use Path of Fire is because it's a constant and um, I can like completely control the variables in that and because I can completely control the variables in that, the, the results, the numbers that we kind of come up with are a little bit more consistent, right? So that is kind of why we're going to be doing that. Um, <coughs> I'm going to have to do a little bit of on the fly, I guess, tinkering to figure out the total numbers because I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to finish Path of Fire I'll be honest I do not want to use up my turns in Path of Fire but we can get to a point where I can kind of see how he's doing versus Vega you can also then take him out into like I can't really take him into PvP I'll be honest I can't because I've got too much of a level gap in PvP that it doesn't really matter anyway. Um, I've literally been trying to like experiment with some teams and because my level is just so much higher than anyone else I can face in my server, um, it kind of puts me into the position where I can't necessarily 
test things, which is a little bit annoying. So we will do Boston though. Um, at least Boston is somewhere that we can see his numbers and see his kind of ceiling. Again, it's not going to be an exact science, but it's far better than judging him on a trial because I've said this to people for God knows how long now. You cannot judge people on trials, even positively, right? Most people will think that that just applies to if a unit's bad in trial. It, it doesn't. It applies positively and negatively. And the reason I say that is because these teams that you're facing, they are constructed teams. So literally, you could be facing a, off against a team that is... What's the word I'm looking for here? Strong against... The new unit, like not weak against the new unit. Sorry, you could be like facing against the up, up, facing off against the lineup that they are just going to do well against, making them look awesome in trial. Whereas when you then go to real world scenarios, they don't look that good. Like even now, I've redone all the trials today just to get the rewards and stuff, and um, Michelangelo still looks terrible in the trials. Michelangelo still looks like an absolutely terrible unit in the trials, but we all know he's not a terrible unit, right? Um, there is units in the past that based on the trial you're like wow this unit's going to be amazing and then you get them in the game and they're not amazing so again we need these real world tests because without them we don't know if units are good or bad it doesn't it, it, it's something that needs to be done put it that way without these actual real world tests you're unable to really make an informed decision of if a unit's worth your while or not I mean I will say that He's the fastest unit in the game. That's in itself going to make him probably a purchase that people who are willing to spend money make. So if you're someone who's like got, let's just say a zone that's kind of competitive, let's say you usually get into the semis or the final grouping, if you don't buy Shredder and if those other people who you regularly face off against do they're probably going to beat you now because they've got something that's going to let them go first and if they just build a half decent team off the back of that they'll probably win because I think most people know that probably the strongest thing in any PvP mode like this is who goes first I mean it's not hands down the, the only thing but Generally it is. So your decision's probably going to be made a lot based on that anyway, but we'll still do this real world testing and you guys can get a look at what this unit's like. So we're going to do that now, but there's a couple other things we need to do first. So you're probably going to see a bit of bipolar haze today. Have fun with that. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Hello.